Hi, this video is going to teach you how to use Audio Reader's digital recording system. This system is used for all of our radio broadcasts and many of our special requests. So if you're reading a book, newspaper, or magazine, it's very likely you'll use this system. The first thing you need to do before you come into the studio is pick up your reading materials and a recording sheet. Recording sheets are available out in the volunteer area. If you're doing a radio program, you'll use a green sheet. If you're recording a book, you'll use a blue sheet. And if you're reading a special request, you'll grab an envelope with a cover sheet. These will all be pre-assigned to you. You'll also grab your reading material. In each bin is an open close sheet that tells you the title of your program, its length, and tells you what to say at the beginning and the end. You'll also find your publication. Today we're going to work with Time Magazine for our national and international news program. So that covers getting your materials together. Now that you're in your studio with your reading materials, it's time to get your equipment set up. Your headphones are going to be helpful for going back and listening as well as monitoring your audio. You'll control those with a knob just here under the desk that turns it off and on and adjust the volume. Simply place them over your ears and adjust the headband to fit. Your microphone should be about a hand's length away from you, but off to the side a little bit. This way, when you speak, your breath blows past it, your peas pop less, and you get less mouth noise. You also want to place your materials in a place that's comfortable. There are book stands if you need those to prop things up. So now you're all set with your reading materials. Now that your reading materials are in place, you need to check your recording screen. The first thing you want to do when you look is make sure that you have a clean slate. You can do this by making sure there is no number here and no time here where it says current position. This means the volunteer before you ejected their file. This is a common mistake, so it's always important to check. Now that you've determined you have a clean slate, you're going to start loading your own file. To do this, simply press load on the keypad, and when you do that, an eight-digit number will appear where it says name. These eight digits get written down on your green sheet, so this is a great time to get that filled out. Start by writing down your name, mine is Jennifer, your show name, we've already decided we're reading national and international news, and it's okay to abbreviate that as long as the staff can understand what you mean. Where it says code number, that's where you're going to put your name of your file. So we've got 1114605. Now one point of interest is those first two digits are always going to correspond with the date. Today's the 11th, so all files generated today start with 11. This can be helpful, especially when making sure you have a clean slate. Sometimes a volunteer will load a file without realizing it. It may be a good file, but to make sure, you can check those two numbers to make sure they match the date. Once you have that number written down, continue by writing down your studio number. We're in number three today. The date your show will air, this is a today program, so it's going to air on the 11th. You'll skip length because that's going to show up here in current position when you're all done. And you'll fill in the date recorded. Again, today is August 11th. All right, now that your green sheet is filled out, let's actually start doing some recording. The first thing you want to do is place yourself in front of your microphone. Make sure that all paper rustling is out of the way, throat clearing, coughing, sneezing, all those things you might need to do. Uh, so it can be helpful to go ahead and get your open close sheet in hand and have your publication set out so you can clearly see its title and date because you're going to need that for the open. So let's go ahead and start recording. Now once I start this, I'll press record to do that. Once I start this, you're going to see your voice levels up here. You want to tend into the yellow. You don't want to peek into the red too much. And if you're down here in the blue, there's a good chance you're either not close enough to the microphone or there could even be something wrong with your microphone. And you should come check in with a staff member if you can't get that fixed up yourself. So we're going to press record. We're going to read our opening statement. And then we're going to press pause because that's a good place to take a break, regroup, and get the next portion of your reading materials available. So let's press record. 
Hello and welcome to the Magazine Rack. My name is Jennifer Nigro. Tonight, we'll read from the August 7th edition of Time Magazine. Now, one thing you'll notice is I didn't take a big gasping breath before I started. I took my breath just before I started the open, and that's a really good strategy so that the listener doesn't hear that big breath sound at the very beginning. Now that your intro is recorded, you're ready to prepare for the rest of your recording. So this is where you'll open up your publication, find your continuation, all those things. Get that opened up and ready to go. Make all your microphone noise right off the bat so that you're all ready for a nice, quiet read. I'm actually going to tuck this back so that I can hold this up in a way that I can see it. All right, so once you've got that all ready to go, you're going to press record again and begin with your first article. Hope from a strange source. Antidepressants were heralded as miracle cures when they were introduced over a half century ago. But they never worked for everyone. Now some doctors and patients are... They're... Uh, okay, so I just messed up. So this is a great opportunity to go back and show you how to make a correction. Now, choosing where to make your correction is very important. Um, but the first thing we want to do when we make a mistake is press the pause button right away. That stops our recording and gives us a chance to think a little bit. So we've stopped our recording. Let's go back and fix that mistake. It's always good to fix a mistake and correct a sentence in its entirety. You should fix any time there's a major mistake or if you find that you're stumbling frequently. So let's go back and find the best place to fix this mistake. We're going to start, now that it's on pause, by pressing stop. Not much happens to your screen there. Then you can press the back button, oh, probably three, four, maybe five times. It'll go back in five second increments. So let's watch. And as you do that, you're gonna see this jump back and this jump back. And this appears telling you how far back you've gone. So that's five seconds, 10, 15, 20. Let's see where that gets us. In order to hear what you just rewound, you'll press play. Now some doctors and patients are, they're, Oh, okay. So there was my mistake. I need to go back again, and I need to pause it at the end of the sentence before. So I'm going to go back again, and I'm going to look for the end of this sentence and pause it very quickly in between. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to stop, and we're going to back just a little bit. Antidepressants were heralded as miracle cures when they were introduced over a half century ago. But they never worked for everyone. Okay, pause right there where you want to start it up again. Now we're going to press record and record right over top of that mistake. Now, some doctors and patients are putting their faith in a club drug. This article is by Mandy Oaklander. All right, we're going to pause it again there because I have a nice big page turn that I need to make in order to get to the rest of the article, and I don't want to rustle in my listeners' ears. So those are the basics of recording and correcting. Now that you've learned how to record and fix a mistake, it's important to know when to stop reading. Your open close sheet, remember, tells you how long you should read. In this case, we're reading for 56 to 58 minutes. So in order to gauge that, you want to watch your current position time here. I always encourage people to read for about 56 minutes, look for a good place to wrap up, and then read that closing statement. So let's go ahead and read that closing statement, and then I'm going to walk you through the process of saving your file. All right, so here we go. We're going to press record and read our close. That's all the time we have for this edition of National and International News. My name is Jennifer Nigro. Thanks for joining me. We pause our file, and then we're going to start by writing down our final time here. In this case, it's only 40 seconds long, but again, your real aim is 56 to 58 minutes, or shorter if your sheet tells you so. Special requests don't often have a time constraint, so those you just read for content. But we've written down our final time. Now we're ready to finish up the save process. To do that, you're going to press stop. Again, your screen doesn't change much. Save. Wait for that saving file box to go away. 
You may notice it stayed at 0%. That's okay. Your file still saved. As long as it popped up and went away, it doesn't matter what the percentage was. And then when you're ready, you'll press Done. Your file number and your time all disappear, and that's how you know you did it right. So you've now successfully recorded and ejected your file. Now, just because you finished recording doesn't mean your volunteer time is quite over yet. You need to tidy up your space, take care of coffee cups, water cups, whatever you might have brought in with you. Return your red pen and your open close sheet out to the volunteer area. Recycle your reading materials, or if there's still material left to be read, put it back out in the magazine rack out there. You'll also return your green sheet. You're going to place that in the tray in the volunteer coordinator's office so that we can get your program on the air. Once you've tidied up, taken care of everything in your studio, you're ready to head out, sign out on your way out the door, and we'll see you next week. Thanks for reading for Audio Reader.